Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. In this video, we're going to be talking all about the pseudo element of uh, colon colon before and basically how to use it. So what I've done is a, a good example of about how to use it is here. We have this background image that, that just keeps scrolling with everything that we want that, that, that with our text. And this is the image that we want. And essentially, what our aim is to have is this image to stay as it is, as the background on our web page and let the content scroll anyway, all right? But right now, because this is just being used with a CSS saying that this is then the background image uh, um, of this and it's center and it's cover and it's no repeat, right? It's literally covering the whole of the size of the body. So the height of the body and then the width of the body and it's going to cover that. But we don't want that. We want it to cover. Uh, we want it to just cover the body area and not the actual the size of the content. And this is where the pseudo element comes into it is what we can do is rather than have this um, this styling here set to the body tag what we can do is we can move it out of that and we can do say body colon colon before and then we're gonna have to say like content is equal to nothing because it's not going to add any content all right so this this here is essentially what we are styling this content but we can we can style everything about that content as well which means we can give it a background right and we can give it a background position and size and we can also say hey this is going to be position fixed it can be position fixed so say don't move okay and then with that we can say the boundaries of it and say top and left so we can say pin it to the top and pin it to the left which is going to do and then we're going to say hey be 100 percent the width and be 100 percent the 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 height and so if we now refresh this and have a look you'll see that the image is doing exactly that and it's the size of the body right but now we don't see the text, but is the text still there? This is what you're asking. Have we just overridden it? Well, no. You can see that our wrap is still there, our title's still there, our banner's still there, the CSS, all the paragraphs is all still there. You can see it. But because our image is sat on top of it right now, we have to place it beneath it. And we can do that simply. We're just using the Z index. We're just going to put it to minus one because we know the other content has got Z index zero. So when we refresh this now, you see that our content goes nicely here. So we don't have a problem with it. Now, why does this happen? Well, I don't totally understand it, but this is not a hack. This is how you can do it. Now, maybe I might make another video about how and why this happens, but to, to a little bit more understand it with this one title, let's mess around with this one title too, all right? So let's give this class, this a um, mess uh, with me, all right, class. And let's just say, inside of our CSS. Let's come down the bottom and we're going to say mess with E and we're going to say the color is going to be red. All right. And let's refresh it. And now we get the color is red. And but what about if we say, what about if we say here, mess with me before and we're going to say content here is, is we're going to do two pipes and then a space. And now you see we get two pipes and a space. And this is, this is not essentially a part of the, the, the content, right? This is this is because it's the, the before part now. And now we can also say here, mess with me after. Okay, this video is not about not about that, but we can now say here, and it will put it afterwards. We put the space the other side. And so this the content, th this is not the content anymore. This is just putting something before and afterwards. It's a clever trick to be able to do this type of stuff. Now I, I don't really do lots of CSS styling, uh, to be honest with you. I'm more of a software developer. I, I program other stuff rather than like style stuff. But um, this is really key, important thing to understand today to be able to uh, to be able to manipulate the website exactly how you want it to. And um, so I just wanted to make this quick video about um, because I was I was doing this for for a, a potential client and they wanted to have this image in the background. And I was like, hmm, I don't know how to do that, actually. And after a little bit of research, I found out the easiest method is to use the before method. So anyway, there we go. This is how you would do it if you want to still have a completely normal site. And this doesn't affect uh, all of this content with inside of here. This is going to sit in the back. 
um, and that's all it's going to happen. So anyway, there we go. Just a quick, a simple video about how to do this. All right. And I might make another video about going in depth about what the before does and why it does it and how it does it and this, that and the other. But I'm pretty certain this is enough to teach you about how to do it. So if you're also in, um, interested in how I got this image there and uh, where I got this text from. So the image is from placehold.co and I've literally just said 190 times uh, 1080 to say that's the size of the image and if I wanted to change the text on it as well I could then say like put uh, text is equal to before here and uh, we can see here I can change the text uh, on the image um, and yeah you can change the background color as well if you want and I've just literally just generated some co uh, some text here and uh, I've also got uh, and the image I got from uh, Unsplash as well. So uh, Unsplash, I got it from Unsplash here. A super nice place to get some uh, images that you can use on your websites and stuff like that for free. Um, and uh, that's basically it. So uh, I hope that you've learned something. I definitely learned something uh, from this. And uh, I'm going to use this now in continuing on for a client. Um, yeah, I just thought I would make a quick video about how to do it. Thanks very much. And uh, if you've got any questions or anything like that, stick them in the comments down below. And uh, I will probably make a follow up video uh, about the, 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 the fine details of what colon colon before does the pseudo element. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to give a like, subscribe, etc, uh, etc, et all of the normal stuff, but you don't have to. I'm just making this uh, because I needed to do it. And, uh, and I always like to pass on my information to you guys. So see you in the next video. Uh, there'll be a video on the screen right now, which either I or YouTube uh, think that you will probably want to watch. All right, bye.